Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is Wednesday, June the 20th. And this is day three of training week, hell week, as some people would call it. Um, recap of the last couple of days. You know, it's not hasn't been as bad as what people think, as what people have told me. Uh, you know, I'm still good. I'm still on my energy. You know, I still, you know, I'm not exhausted. Um, pretty much the long days is what everybody is saying that kind of makes it so bad. But I mean, look, if you're not used to working hard, then yeah, it probably is a hell week. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, last night we, uh, we made a sale. Me and my trainer are running about a 75% close rate at the moment. The last four prezos we've done, we got three sales off of. So, uh, if we keep those numbers up, <laughs> you know, good things are going to happen in the future. But, uh, you know, just got to keep running appointments, man. And, you know, the numbers are going to speak for themselves as long as you put enough numbers in. So today uh, is day three. I'm on my way to the office now to do, you know, to do the first part of the day with training. We do have some, uh, we do have some prezos and some appointments scheduled this evening as well as uh, I'm going to start doing some two and twos or maybe even four and fours in between uh, appointments to get the schedule set for Friday and Saturday. So that's going to be the first thing that, you know, I, first time I've done it as far as having the phone script, you know, and thing, uh, you know, to whatever you're calling on your calling on your members to set up the appointments so i'm really looking forward to that because the phone is the most important part of the appointment if you don't sound good on the phone or if you don't you know if you don't come off well you know on the phone they're not, you know the clients aren't going to really take you seriously and they're not going to hold on to that appointment so this is this is a very very big deal you know setting up the appointments on the phone and whatnot so uh you know I'm excited to, to start this day. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll definitely try, you know, if I can cut in somewhere, you know, within the day and give, give a quick update, I will instead of just doing the morning and at night. But, you know, I'm really trying to grasp a lot of this info for this week and when I'm out with my trainer. Now, next week, when I'm more than likely rolling by myself, you're going to get a lot more, you know, day to day, me driving to different appointments and just seeing, you know, seeing how the actual day goes. But this is just training right now. It's training, and I'm with my field trainer. I'm absorbing all the information I can, so it'll make me more successful out in the field when I'm rolling by myself. So, uh, yeah, I'm on my way in. Hope you guys have a good day. Uh, remember to, you know, take the day by take the day by the horns, you know, and make it your own. You know, get as much out of this 24 hours as you can. So, uh, you guys have a good day. I'll talk to y'all later. See ya up YouTube all my fella all my fellow uh, YouTubians out there who uh, on my way home just left the office just got back uh, day three is in the books we did um, three presentations today on top of you know the training that I had and uh, this is actually uh, you know didn't make any sales tonight, um, you know, which is which is okay. You know, I, I definitely know that I'm, you know, not gonna close every single thing that I that I present, even though that would be fantastic. Um, but in each one of the presentations, I learned something new, and I and I, you know, learned something that you know that I can take to the next one. Now that I'm digressing from the day, so I feel still that I, you know, I still, I still feel accomplished. I still feel that, uh, you know, that I got a lot out of today, even though it wasn't in the form of a sale, but you have to play the numbers. You have to do the present, um, however many presentations it takes to make a sale. You have to do that. So I learned a lot today. It kind of made you humble because I was on a, you know, I was on a streak. We, had, we were closing three out of four that we were doing. And then tonight we struck out. Um, but a couple of the things that I did learn is that, you know, you do have to recognize your surroundings in terms of 
whoever you're presenting to, you have to be able to formulate your script to fit those people. For instance, if you have, if, if you're if you're presenting to you know uh, a married couple without kids, right? Then you have to point everything towards each other instead of the quote unquote family because they don't have kids yet. Or if you have a single prezo that you're doing, you have to switch the words from family to whomever they want in place of, you know, whoever they want to take care of their estate or their home. Or if they do, if they're a single parent, who do you want that's going to take care of your uh, or your children when you die? So, you know, I learned that because I saw it the first couple of times, you know, so. There's a there's a lot of other things that I you know that I did take away from today. I do feel I do feel good in terms of you know what I was able to what I was able to get. Uh, I was just informed tonight that on uh, Friday and Saturday I'm actually going to be running appointments with my MGA. Um, a little nervous there. However, you know, I'm going to go home. I'm going to study my script again, make sure I'm tight on everything. And, you know, I want to be in tip top shape. That way I can, he can possibly go ahead and release me so I can start going on my own. So I started actually calling and setting up appointments today as well. I was able to set up, uh, I have three bridge appointments, uh, but you know, it, we were just making calls in between appointments. So tomorrow is an actual call day. So I'll be able to get a lot of outbound calls made to kind of beef my schedule up for Friday and Saturday. Uh, you know, so I'm looking forward to that just to see how everything is going to shape up. Uh, you know, I'm going to go for hopefully 10 to 11 appointments per field day. That way I know my day is packed. It's full. I know I, you know, I can hopefully get in a few, uh, a few prezos uh, every single day. It's just going to heighten your chances of making sales. So, you know, with that being said, guys, you know, I'm going to go ahead and tune off uh, and sign off, you know, until until in the morning. Tomorrow's Thursday. Um, so I do have class in the beginning of the day and then I do uh, the, the afternoon is set for me, set my schedule. I'm going to be grinding, making phone calls, setting the schedules up. So, like I said, you know, this is part of the game. You know, if you do strike out, you don't get discouraged, you don't you know, get down on yourself because, you know, you're going to have situations to where people are not going to, to bite. You know that you're passionate about what, what you're offering to the clients, but maybe there's a lot of things that can come into play that'll, that'll prevent you from being able to provide that, whether it's cost, whether it's just overall need, or if they don't see the value in what, in what it is, of course, you know, so there's a lot of things that, a, a lot of variables that play into that. However, all you, the best thing you can do at this point is to continue to, to play the numbers, continue to run the numbers. By that, I mean, continue to, to, you know, to, to run your prezos, right? Run your prezos, uh, do as many prezos as you can. You are going to find those people that you can help. So sorry, the video's dark. You know, it is uh, 1040 at night. So, you know, I, it's pretty dark, <laughs> but, uh, look, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, and uh, until then, you guys, you know, stay, stay positive, um, you know, good energy always. See y'all tomorrow.